Here we go for a long ass time. I'd like to point out that this was recorded months ago and I'm a bit fuzzy on what to do on some location, but I will try my best to explain most of them, hopefully. So on every video I will do, I will pretty much show you the loadout of what I choose. It's normally the same sort of style. Um, nothing much really changes because you can do most of these challenges as a default setting if you want to. But um, I'm not like other Hitman videos. Um, I'm normally, if you start from part one and then we, pro we will progress on together, then we can go to a different area and do the challenge a lot faster and simpler. To me personally, it just feels like I'm there with you going along with the game together. So it just makes, um, hopefully life's easier for you guys if you're watching this. So in the medical facility, I, I believe I do pick up a lethal poison and I believe I did pick up a key. So like I said, my memory is a bit fuzzy. So once you go into the main building, go to the cloak check and go inside. So, and then to the right, you will find one of the main outfits. So you can pretty much use this everywhere in this building. Also, you need to make sure to save at the right times. It's not a Pacific, well, I say there's not a Pacific uh, section you got to save. But um, if you save where I am and just copy what I do and do not override the same file because I always make backups of different parts. So if I'm doing one challenge, it's pretty long. I do have multiple saves. So if we mess up on one save, we can go back to another. So as soon as you go up the stairs, go inside the building. We'll grab the key card. This should give us the day at the aquarium, I believe. Challenge. Um, I do apologize, but I did get the challenge beforehand before the recording. That I do know. I do remember that bit. So leave the building, go up the pipe here. And this shall lead you straight to where we need to go. I sound posh. So as you see that right there, I don't use the same file. I always use a different file. Take out the camera and take out the guard. I believe we need to get the uniform now because this is a trespassing area. Here we go. Now we are safe in this section. Right, go into the office of whatever the target's name is. Go onto the desk to pick up the uh, item. And then we need to adjust the um, air conditioner to dry. Once you have grabbed the lethal poison located in the medical facility as the video was sped up as I grabbed it. We need to go into the toilet because once you turn the AC unit on to dry, you need to poison this eye drop here. Looking over Nox's medical file. Now, once we have done that, we just have to wait now. Wait for um, the good old Nox to uh, feel the dryness of the AC unit, and then he will take the eye drop and die. Robert Nox down. And now that will be the the bottom channel. I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I can't see it. I know the administration, I know that word. And then if you go outside, because we got the um, the key thing on this desk that we picked up, and then we get that too. So the message, this is pretty much as General Knox, or not General Knox, but it's Mr. Knox. Is still alive so reload the previous save that i did not show i do apologize for that though so as you put the um the usb Robert in there the, um, mr knox will come to the racetrack and then you, all you have to do is just kick him off so like i said i make save points for a reason because we can reload it and do a different challenge to save us from restarting the whole damn thing again so mr tambourine man this is pretty simple This challenge, we don't really give a crap. Now, what happens here? Just kill Mr. Tambourine Man, wear your clothing, and then I uh, believe that is it. Don't know why the footage is showing loads and loads. Oh, yeah. 
Because then you have to interact with the instruments that he's playing with. So this is my next loadout for the next challenge, Arms Dealer. Trying to remember what the hell this challenge is. Probably find out as we play it. So as we start with the dolphin location. Ah, yes, I know this one. I think. Go inside the building. Once again, go to the cloak. The cloak. The coat check. Once again, grab the same uniform. Jump over. And then I do believe I do get a key card around here somewhere. I don't think I actually get it here though. At some point I do. So go up the stairs. This one's not really whether it's a save, but you can save if you want to. So it's up to you. So go into the, the lab area. There we go. Grab the mannequin arm and just beat the crap out of someone. Are you out of your mind? Seriously. Why would you There's the arm dealer. Well I would recommend actually, sorry, I do apologize to save it because I don't I don't think I saved it yet. And then I screwed up. So the next time would be shafted. Head down the stairs as you leave the lab, so go right. And the first set of stairs to the right. Head down the stairs, go right again. Go down the corridor, turn left. Go into the aquarium, I think. Hmm. Okay. Unless there's a different way. I remember when I played it recently, I remember going left and there's a person in the shaft area. Oh yes, I do apologize, yes. Go for the car showroom. And then there will be a camera that you need to say we don't have to. We're not going for Silent Assassin. Open the door. And then we should find a big massive shaft. Yeah, so I could have gone through the, the aquarium. That's what I could have done to make it a lot simpler. But if I had known this months ago, then I would do it. So subdue the um, the lady. Don't kill her just yet. Drag her into the um, elevator shaft. Giggity goo. All right. Now we're gonna find another person to kill. And lo and behold, this is the little bitch we're gonna kill. So once again, subdue the guy. Don't kill him, because if we kill the guy, it won't count towards anything. For some reason you need this person to be down the bottom because I think you need to kill someone below and just casually just kick him off into the shaft and then ta-da! But yeah, he was still alive down the bottom, so I don't know. For some reason it didn't work when I was one person, but it worked when there's two, so I'm not sure why. What's up with that? So as we go into the aquarium, sleeping with the fishes and tanked. This one's not too bad, it's pretty damn simple. As the two guards are scrolling the cross, shoot the glass once and then take out two people to get the tank. And then sleeping with the fishies. Simply just pick up one of the one of the unconscious bodies and throw them in there. So this one would be part of the, the fishing challenges section. So all we have to do is shoot most of the um, the fish's tanks or the fish tanks. And we're looking for, I believe, starfish or something. Oh, I can't remember what we're looking for. We're looking for something. Ah, no, we're picking up fishes. Big old fishes. So pretty much shoot all the tanks and find what you need. After you've done all that, you should gain the challenge.
There's the, there's the one I'm looking for. There we go. That's a pretty simple challenge. Okay, the next one is free fishy. Free willy. Free willy. So as we got the fish from the tank, all we need to do now is go towards the beach section. Or any water section, I would say. I don't think it's any Pacific section. Just go to the water and then throw your fish that you found in the aquarium, throw it back into the sea. Run free, my fishy. Run free. See, Agent 47 is a kind person, just not towards humans. Okay, shark from above. Pretty much all you do all you have to do is when the target or not the target, but yeah, you can do it as the target as well. But that's in a different video. Back in the aquarium once again, so make sure you load your save. Then yeah, you get shark from above. So bigger fish. This one's pretty damn simple. Well, I think it's pretty damn simple. Using the same file, go to the, oh, uh, what's it called? Go to the, the bay. If that makes any sense. And then, yep, yeah, use a starfish to get the, I can't remember. I think, I think he's not the medicine man. I can't remember what his name is now. The food vendor guy. So we're going to the event entrance now. So start from default. So replan your mission once again. Um, I just realized it's kind of a shit show. I do apologize for my swearing at uh, the last bit because I didn't really explain when to save and when to load. So time to get the very important person. And I do not know how to get this one. Because I can't remember yet. I would advise grabbing the coins because I don't normally, well, I don't normally um, grab the coins anyway. Oh yes, this is the part. I remember, I remember now. So the only thing to get this one is, yeah, just do that. that that's not really a good commentary, was it? I, I, that was completely dog poo. But anyway, yeah, you see what I've done there. So grab the coins, distract a person into the toilets, kill him or subdue him and vice versa. So now restart the mission. Bring the lockpick, of course, if you follow my loadout. Go through the door here. This one's a pretty short challenge too. As you go in, kill the woman. Go inside the police or the security section. Grab the key. I believe. <laughs> oh, oh, pardon me. I believe you do get a challenge here if you haven't got the keys already. But I believe we got that in the first video of Miami. So now dress as a, the security guard. Go inside the main building to pick up this key here or the key card. Now go into the building to the right. And, and this will be a surveillance room. Kind of area or interrogation room there'll be a safe open the safe to get what's inside this will be a remote bomb among other things okay since we have got the explosive now we can get the next challenge days of thunder and explosive whatever it's called As of right now, I don't remember what we had to do for this one. I'm pretty Days of Thunder is the one we need to do for the uh, Nox guy. Or it may not be. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. I know now. Nope, nope. Okay, there we go. Once you grab the explosives, go and dress as one of the, the pit crew. Place the bomb, or the bomb, onto the truck. And then... You go boom, boom. To be quite honest, I'm not even sure what the hell I'm doing right now, so I'm just trying to trying to remember. So the video's not sped up that bad, so you can actually look at what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Now I'm calling someone. Mm. Yes, I do remember now. Excellent. I remember what we're doing. So, once we get the uniform as the racer, or the green racer, or the lime green racer person thingy, we go to the payphone and use a coin, and then we call the Nox guy, saying that there's a fight. And then, from what I remember, we have to blow up the vehicle as he is watching the driver. So, Sierra Nox. There is no other quick way to actually do this. Mr. Smith, a pleasure. Do you have the trigger? So just listen to the conversation. Now, as he is watching. Blow up the vehicle. Next up, Robert Knox. And then push him off. Both targets there we go. Well done. Simples. So the next one will be Sweet Victory. Go as the bartender. So we're now inside the club. As we start, there should be a bag of sugar. So pick that up. So now we need to find a uniform for the pit crew. We need the one for the the green side, I do believe. I could be wrong, but I do remember being green. I'm sure. I'm, I'm very sure of it. As we've done this, now go into the green area and sabotage their area. So go into the green area and sabotage their oil or whatever we want to do. And then that is basically how they get sweet victory. Sweet, sweet victory, yeah. 47, the race is over. So that is it. We win. We won. We did it. Starting as normal. So replan the mission. We're going for the Thunder Thief. So going for the overpass selection. 
like normal we've got fiber wire we lock pick a gun and the race martial outfit so like i said at the start of the video that i try to progress on with you guys so we don't have to keep starting from the same damn location just to make things simple the so first of this kill the two marshals There's one body hidden. And number two. The only reason why I hit him, just in case someone come up here. I don't, well from what I remember, I don't think they do, but just to make sure, just to get this challenge out of the way. It doesn't take that long to do it, I don't think. So head up the stairs here. We need to disqualify Sierra Knox. So play, pay close attention to the uh, the buttons indicated on your screen to disqualify the right person. If you do the wrong person, then you just f yourself up. So do it again. So now once we have done that, now we need to go to the lime green people. So we've got to find an outfit for Moses. Is it Moses guy? Whatever his name is. Can't exactly remember what his name is fully. Grab the key card on the side there. Just makes it simple so we get in different areas. So Sierra Knox is mad because she lost. Now head downstairs into the locker room to grab the green outfit. Also grab the key card there to gain access to more areas. That is Sierra Knox, reckless daredevil with a So there he is. That's the guy we got a kill to grab the outfit. So since he's the person who won, he's going to come down this section here. So we don't have to wait and follow him. Just go to where he needs to go anyway. So head up the stairs. So like I said, there's not much we can really do now. Just head to where, to where he normally goes. So this is this is the location right here. So stay around here. Make sure you save your game. So if you happen to mess up, you can reload it. So now kill the bitch. Take his body into the door. Grab the outfit. As and when you got the outfit and you're wearing it, head up to the stage and now just wait here for a few seconds or maybe a minute or so until he calls you up there. Once you've done that, just go into the pedestal and to grab the Thunder Thief. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video.